we will look at multi dimensional arrays in javascript so we will look at multi dimensional arrays in javascript what all things we will see how to declare a 2d array and then how to traverse the array print the elements within the array how to pass a 2d array to a function and how to sum the rows for a 2d array within a function and print the output all these things we will see let's start off with the declaration of a 2d array so you can declare a 2d array like this say what is a 2d array an array within an array for instance this is an array it can contain some elements like this 1 2 3 4 3 ma this is another array say i can have some names here satish ram and uh, i can have matthew so i can have an array within an array that's a multi dimensional array right so you can declare multi dimensional arrays like this this is uh, allowed and what you see here is you can have any number of elements in every row in the first row how many elements i have four elements in the second row how many elements i have three elements it's not that in every row you have to have the same number of elements so you can create a multi dimensional array like this another way of creating a multi dimensional array is you can also have something like this constant a is equal to say i can give the first array a name and then i can give the second array that is this is another array right i can give the second array as a separate declaration like this and i can create my 2d array like this this is also fine so you can create 2d arrays like this in javascript so to keep things simple let me revert back to my earlier declaration so that you are able to understand easily so i have declared a multi dimensional array how to print the very first element inside this array you can use indexes say this is row number 0 and this is element number 0 so how how you can log that element is you can very well use the indices say i can give 0 row is 0 in that first row what is that i have element 0 so what it will print is it will print 1 so you have a multi dimensional array and you are printing elements inside the multi dimensional array say if i want to print satish how will i log that this is in row 1 and this element in which index in row 1 that is the first element that is index 0 so now if i want to print satish i can give k of 1 0 you can use the indexes to print the element say satish the next very very important thing is how to print the number of rows in a multi dimensional array how to print number of rows you can just call k dot length array name dot length will print the number of rows in the array so how many rows i have inside my array this is row 1 this is row 2 so two rows what is this k dot length prints the number of rows in your array if i want to print number of elements in a specific row what should i do say if i want to print the number of elements in row 0 i have to give k of 0 dot length so now it will return 4 because the number of elements in row 0 is 4 yes that's what is the columns k of 0 dot length will print the number of elements number of elements means columns are you all clear with this this is what you have done in java to jagged arrays have you print elements inside a jagged array in java the same concept nothing new we are learning only thing is we don't learn it when we have to learn it but anyway i hope you are following this what is k of 0 dot length number of elements in a row what is k dot length number of rows in your multi dimensional array with this understanding now we have to traverse this array print all the elements inside this multi dimensional array for this we can use two for loops say let i'll call the first thing let row is equal to 0 so 
the first uh, outer loop is for the number of rows right so row less than k dot length so we iterate for the number of rows and increment it each time the next for loop is for iterating through the number of columns so we will say for let call starts from zero call is less than for every row we have to find the number of elements in that row so it is k of row dot length until you reach the end of that row you have to increase call every time call plus plus now we will log those elements out it is nothing but k of for the row for each row go through all the columns nothing new this we have been doing it many times in all the other programming languages only thing is for every row there is an outer for loop for the number of elements in every row you have an inner for loop log the elements now let's run this so you have to get the elements printed one by one so you see here one two three four satish raman matthew so you have to follow this so that irrespective of how many elements you have in every row your uh, array is going to be traversed are you all clear with this uh, concept on multi dimensional arrays can we splice a multi dimensional array can we use an array method on a multi dimensional array say what happens if i splice i do k dot splice i perform this k dot splice and i am going to insert in index 1 after deleting an element what i am going to insert is a and b what will be the output here so we'll take a look at the output so index 1 what is there this is there so i have to delete that one element in index 1 so it delete the entire array and what it will insert a and b will be inserted so you'll be able to see the output 1 2 3 4 is in index 0 index 1 it deleted the entire array and then it added a and b if i'm not interested in deleting this array satish is there so let's not delete him we love 1 0 ab now what will happen is it will not delete but it will insert the element in index 1 and then it will push this to index 2 let's uh, run this let's see whether our splice works so you can also apply splice on multi dimensional arrays you see here now 1 2 3 4 it inserted the elements ab push satish ram matthew to index 2 can we try slicing what happens if i perform k dot slice 1 on this multi dimensional array k dot slice and then i just give 1 what will be sliced here what will be the output i to just console log it or get the result in another another array constant c is equal to k dot slice and maybe let me console log c let me delete this let's take a look at the output so now the slicing has happened see when you perform a slice it will not impact or change the original array it will just take and return another array when i do k dot slice of 1 it just slices this and returns this to c when i log c you see only that particular part is printed so what is that we understand here you can apply the array methods on multi dimensional arrays too can you all take up an exercise create a multi dimensional array of integers or numbers pass that array to a function display the sum of each row within that function for that array so you have to pass a multi dimensional array say you create an array like what i have done but an array of numbers pass the multi dimensional array to a function traverse through that array inside that function print the sum of rows within that function can we create that uh, so let me first create this multi dimensional array but it's an array of numbers we are going to take let's say 111 1, and then it's a multi dimensional array so we'll give like this 2 comma 2 comma 2 that's it so we should pass this array to a function so we declare a function uh, let me write this function here 
So it's function. Let me call this some array. And I should get this array, right? So this is the function which will perform things for me. How to pass an array to a function? Let it be any dimensions. Let's call that function some array. And then just pass the array name. That's it. This is how you pass an array to a function. No matter how many dimensions it has. And how will you receive that array here? Let me say I receive that in a variable like this. And I have to sum the elements of each row. Say, let me call row sum. I'll declare that it's zero. Now I have to traverse this entire multi-dimensional array. And then I have to find the sum of each row. How I can perform that? I have to run these for loops for let. I'll just use row is equal to zero, row less than the same thing. Uh, it is array dot length number of rows you have and then row plus plus again for the columns let column is equal to zero and the column is less than array of uh, row dot length column plus plus and you just do sum is equal it's row sum right uh, row sum is equal to row sum plus uh, array of you will have this row and columns okay so this is going to take every element in the row sum it to row sum after you come out of the initial internal loop we will console log the row sum. So this is the row sum. After logging the row sum, maybe I'll just uh, initialize row sum to zero. So this is going to print the sum of every row for this multi-dimensional array. I believe this should work. Not sure. Let me try. Control all 10. Did I save it? I think I have saved it. Let's check. So four is the sum of the first row. Six is the sum of the second row. So we have successfully passed a multi-dimensional array to a function, displayed the sum of every row within that function.